morning everybody chainsaw here so I am on my next adventure this is day one I am back in the Smoky Mountains glad to be back I'm actually here at Big Creek uh, Trail uh, this so far this morning I went to Lebanon the Nashville area stayed with a friend last night got up real early this morning drove all the way to Hot Springs to the Laughing uh, Heart Hostel uh, Met there, met uh, Chuck Norris, the caretaker there, and he's also the person who's going to be doing my shuttle. And uh, he drove me all the way back here to Big Creek. Uh, so I'm about to head up the trail. Uh, just kind of stopped here, really nice parking area. Got the, the bridge behind me, and then the water running in the back. Really nice area to be dropped off here. Even had a bathroom that I got to use and everything uh, before heading up. So I got about a mile and a half to go up to Midnight Hole, and I hope the swimming's good. The weather is beautiful today. See y'all a little bit later. back up the trail a little bit now kind of want to show you what I'm walking on it's kind of an old logging road just a moderate grade it's gonna be real nice and easy it's a uh, lots of families come up here to go swimming so it's gonna be a really good uh, warm-up hike to get ready for tomorrow's big climb get stretched out get loosened up a little bit so hi so like I said I was going to I'm going to midnight hole it's a big swimming area if you've never seen it or know anything about it it's up the uh, Big Creek Trail, about 1.5 miles, so it's not a hard, long hike. A lot of people do it in, in just an afternoon to go swimming. But what it is, it's a big drop pool with about 10, 15 foot boulders that you can climb up on. You can actually jump off into the water. Now the pool, the landing pool, is anywhere from about 15 to 20 feet deep. Root crystal clear, and I'm sure it's gonna be cold as can be. Nothing like mountain stream water to wake you up. It'd be better than a monster and a red bull put together but uh really cool thing is when you jump in looking down the water it's so clear there's like a whole family of trout that live down in the bottom of it just swimming around you the whole time so uh it won't be too long i'll be there and i'll get some pictures and uh, show you maybe i'll jump off a rock or two So I was sitting here talking and I turn around and I look and I got two turkey uh, following me. My gosh, I hope they didn't know I drank that fighting cock last night bourbon. This could get ugly. Very cold, wet chainsaw. Yes, I went swimming. Yes, I jumped off the rocks. Uh, didn't take my camera up there, obviously. I'm just in the water there. It is very cold, but it was refreshing. Time to have some lunch, dry off, enjoy this swimming pool, and then head on back down the trail.
right, how's it going everybody? So I just got down from the Big Creek Trail and walked uh, the mile back down to the ranger station at Big Creek. You can notice I'm doing a little road walking here. So I got about a mile, mile and a half to go till I get to Davenport Gap and connect back with the AT. I thought about taking the Chestnut Trail, but that added about another three miles. So I was like, I've done that part, I'm good. So I'm gonna keep on trucking down here, catch up with the AT. Uh, swim was really nice. Uh, midnight hole was really good. It was so cold. It was freezing cold. Had a nice little lunch there. And uh, now just enjoying my time, not too hot. Little overcast, sun peeks out every once in a while. Get a breeze every once in a while. As long as you're in the, the canopy, it's nice. It's gonna be interesting tomorrow when I get up on a Snowbird and Max Patch with no trees. Uh, to see how hot it might be. So, well, I'll get back with you when I hit the AT.